Hi, it's John Silva from Coast Tech. Today's video we're going to talk about if you get a unit back and it's going in and out of battery at the wrong time, how we can adjust it. Yeah. If you start to see your unit going into either AVR boost or AVR trim or even battery too much and you're not seeing lights going out, you're not seeing any issues in the building, it's very common that uh, the voltage coming into the unit might not be agreeable to the unit. These units are designed to be very sensitive to power fluctuations. That's what they do. They want to react to a power fluctuation before you, the equipment that's hooked into it can. The problem that you have is you might, you know, typical line voltage in this country is 120 volts coming out of, coming out of the wall, coming out of receptacle. The, the utility company is designed and regulates that voltage coming out of the wall only to about 20%. It's saying that a 20% reduction in your, in your voltage is considered acceptable. While it might be acceptable to the lighting in your house and your dishwasher or at the office, your copier or whatever, it's not acceptable to computers and to sensitive switch equipment. That's why these units exist. But if you take a 20% reduction and your line voltage is 120, you're going to be down to about 108 volts. Normal 108. This unit is designed to go into battery or to react to a trim or a boost at 103 volts on the low side. So if you're at 108 normal, you could very easily go in and out of that 103 volt range and, and cause this unit to go in and out of battery, which is going to decay your, your battery life. So there's an adjustment on the back of this unit that you can make in cases where your line voltage is, is too low or too high, where it adjusts the sensitivity of the unit and it opens up the window of when this unit will go in and out of battery or in and out of um, trim or boost, in and out of when it's going to make some kind of action to counteract the, uh, the fluctuating voltage. So let's just take a look at how, how that's done. It's a very simple one-step little procedure. Let's turn this unit around. My. So if you look here in the back, at the top up here, you see this little green light, or it's this little LED, and then right next to it is a little small little black button, which you could either hit with a pencil, or I can actually get it with my finger here. So there's three settings here. There's, there's high sensitivity, medium sensitivity, and low sensitivity. High sensitivity is actually normal. That's where the units are coming from the factory. That's where they're coming from here. If you're having issues, Let's first start by moving it down to medium sensitivity. So it opens up that window just a little bit. Very simple to do. You'll see the green light is bright right now. You're going to press it one time. Might be a little bit hard to see, but the light dimmed. So now it's at a, it's at a medium sensitivity. If you're still having issues and you want to set it to a low sensitivity, click it one more time, and you see the light almost extinguished. It's very, very dim. So those are the three, set, the three settings. It's, then if you press it again, it goes back to high sensitivity or normal. You got high, which is all green, bright, medium, dim green, and low sensitivity, which is pretty much extinguished. And obviously, if you're still having problems, please give us a call here at Coast Tech. We're here to help you.